Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect, and welcome to this tutorial about rendering dimension lines. Uh, in a previous tutorial, I explained how to download and set up the Measure It Arc add-on, which is this one right here. And I, I will do a follow-up now uh, to that tutorial, which is explaining how you can uh, render those dimension lines. In case you missed this tutorial, I will leave a, li a link, a card here uh, to that original tutorial, so you can install and set up the measure it arc. Now, uh, how can we uh, render those dimension lines? If I press here my show button and open uh, my tab on the sidebar for the measure it arc, I can start adding dimensions to this set of flat walls. Let me select two vertices, press the align button. Oh, I forgot something. Let me erase this uh, dimension. I forgot to set the plane to the X and Y plane. Now it's correct. And we can add another dimension between this and this vertex. And we can start just making some quick uh, adjustments to those dimension lines with a dimension one. Let me increase here the properties editor and in the object tab you can change the settings for your dimension here i can increase the text size we can increase the distance from the object the offset and also the arrow size let's do the same for dimension two you will see a list here with all of your dimensions let me rotate this dimension 180 degrees so it will stay here at the bottom of the wall on the lower side of the wall and we can repeat the same updates arrow size and offset let's increase the distance now what is the problem if you press f12 i do have a camera here on this scene it's this camera here if i press zero you will see that we are framing the walls and the dimension lines if i press f12 you won't see your dimension lines. Let me change here the background color to white and in the color management, the view transform to standard. Uh, if you don't do this, you won't see a bright white color. It will be always a, just a light gray. Now, how can we uh, render and see those dimension lines? The problem is that uh, the add-on, the measure it arc, uh, if you open here the output options, you will see that we have a few alternatives to output the dimension lines only. You have to render it as an image, as an animation, a vector or vector animation. If you press this button here, it will start rendering your uh, dimension lines as an image. And by the way, if you press this button with, uh, without saving the file, there is a high chance for uh, uh, the add-on to crash. You see a Python error. So you have to save, you need to save your Blender file before anything. If I open here my image editor, you will see that we now have a new image, the measure it arc output with your dimension lines only. Now, how can we render the output? How can we merge those two images using the compositor? If you open the compositor here, I go to use nodes. We can uh, do a simple composite here by adding it with a shift A, we can add an image and this image will be the measure it arc output. And now we need the alpha over. Just press shift A and use the search and try to find the alpha over, mix alpha over. And we can connect this image here. If you press F12 now, there we have it. You will now see your dimension lines in the output of your uh, render. This is it. This is just a simple way uh, to render your dimension lines uh, in Blender. Uh, if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any uh, future tutorials. I will be keeping making tutorials about the Measure It Arc because it's incredibly useful for architecture. 
And uh, don't forget to check my latest uh, workshop, Precise Modeling with uh, a Blender 4.2 for Architecture, Engineering and 3D Printing. See you next time. Bye.